stay at home, protect our NHS and save lives. Since the virus first arrived, 1.5 million people in the UK have become sick and well over 55,000 killed by COVID-19. For 10 months, we live with the fear, frustration and financial harm caused by the disease and our attempts to slow its spread. But now there's yet another potential vaccine, another ray of hope. It's quite late at night and I wasn't expecting to know the results at that point. <laughs> and then they were more complicated than we expected. Are you pleased? Very pleased, yes, really pleased. I mean, this is, we knew it was great technology to be using. We needed to wait for the efficacy data. And, and now we've got that to tell everybody about. The trial results were complicated in that for this vaccine, it seems less, maybe more for a good immune response. The global trial included 24,000 people. One group received two full doses of vaccine a month apart and 62% were shown to be protected from COVID. But a second group got a half dose, then a full dose, and 90% of them were shown to be protected. Crucially, among all those vaccinated, none got severe COVID or died. As good scientists, the Oxford team want to see regulators OK the vaccine before fully congratulating themselves. That hasn't stopped others doing it for them. We can take great heart from today's news, which has the makings of a wonderful British scientific achievement. The Duke of Cambridge joined them on a conference call. It's an amazing achievement, isn't it? It really is. Huge, huge congratulations to you all and your teams. While it should directly benefit us, the Oxford scientists see this as a global vaccine, not a British one. Before COVID-19 even existed, the researchers here had designed a vaccine and had a plan to test and manufacture it against any viral pandemic. And that's what could make today's results from Oxford truly historic. Because not only does their vaccine work, it's cheap and easily deployable to poor countries as well as rich ones. Really the challenge, however, remains in getting the vaccine out, getting it delivered to all parts of the world, particularly those that are in most remote areas or challenging areas to access. Once the vaccine is rolled out, say the Oxford scientists, then they hope to celebrate. Lockdown and we're all socially distanced and I, I haven't even met most of the team that's working on this vaccine. We have to get the vaccine um, into enough people's arms to allow us to meet again and have a party. The Oxford team partnered with drug giant AstraZeneca to produce the vaccine. The company says it has four million doses ready for the UK to deploy this year if it's approved. It says it has the capacity to make 300 million more by the end of March. Tom Clark, ITV News.